Hey you guys, <laughs> it's definitely raining, hence the hat, but you know, girl can't get her hair wet, girl can't get her hair wet, so I'm going to Dollar Tree because I gotta get some water and some tissue, I'm thirsty, thirsty, but I do need some water because my kidney has been doing a two-step and it is painful so we have to cleanse it and the way I normally cleanse it is I get on the water and some cranberry juice so I'm gonna get some cranberry juice and some water so that we could pee yeah I hate not wearing hair I feel crazy you know I love my I mean you know I ain't, I'm not afraid of my hair not at all it's just your girl got a big old juicy juicy face so you know she normally likes to have something around it to just you know you know all my pie face big face sisters know what i'm talking about and if you don't people and but people pay for these cheekbones People right now, somewhere, somebody's right now getting fillers to get these cheekbones. So, I'm going to thank God for that. Yeah. I'm going to thank God for that. Love you, Lord. Love you, Lord. You knew what you was doing. You ain't make no mistakes. God don't make no mistakes. He don't make no mistakes ever. So yeah, I gotta go take my drug test today, you guys. And I I have promised you guys, once I'm done with this, that I was gonna do a story time on why I have to take these random drug tests. So y'all know soon enough, hopefully, once this is over, God willing is soon. But yeah, I'm on my way to Dollar Tree. I'll be hey, you guys. So now I'm taking me a walk to the store. Man, our niggas talking all that shit. Walk where, nigga? Walk where, nigga? The fuck is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> I don't necessarily have to, but you know how sometimes when you're a little aggravated or something like that, I got my mask like half on because in Austin, it's you get like a $250 fine or some shit like that if you don't have your mask on. So if I see them people, them popos, I can just throw my mask all the way on. But I like to say, you guys, sometimes in life, <sighs> you deal with stuff that you don't want normally deal with or don't want to deal with, but you kind of have to deal with it just because that's a part of life, and you just got to get past the bullshit. And that's where I'm at with it today. trying to get past the bullshit like for me if you don't trust somebody you should probably not be with them you know what I'm saying if you don't if you if you feel like you have to question everything about them or what they do or what they say constantly check their phone emails and all that like that's probably not the person that you need to be with like that's just like my opinion I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get a tan just from this little walk because I don't walk nowhere, but I just need to release some energy right about now because I really don't get in much exercise. And we all know that exercise is a good way to burn stress. I'm not, I'm okay, so I'm not gonna say that I'm stressed because I'm not stressed. I know that God is in control of everything. And it's not like I'm starving or outside, you know, a place to go. But, you know, I still am dealing with the everyday bullshit, like the everyday rigmarole of bullshit. So, in order to release that negative energy and feel better about the whole situation, I'm out the apartment, so I'm gonna put my mask on just, I hope y'all can hear me. Just to be, you know, we don't want no problems, basically. We don't want no problems. But just to release some of this energy, 
I'm gonna take a walk to the store. But yeah, I just wanna talk to y'all about that because sometimes you could be with somebody and love them so much that you run them off with that crazy shit. And this is coming from somebody that is bipolar. So some people like to think that bipolar people are with the shits, but we're really not. <laughs> We're really not with the shits because what it does is it sends us into a state or of manic or a state, I cannot with this mask, or a state of depression. It's not that I can't with the mask. I can breathe with my nose out, but I feel like y'all can't hear me or get the full gist of what I'm trying to tell y'all. Cause I'm trying to get a point across that's important. And that point is, stop running the person that loves you off with the bullshit and you know they ain't cheating. Like, you know they're not cheating. Like, <laughs> they're with you every fucking day. So when are they cheating? Stop that shit. Like, I can see if you had reason to believe or proof of something, then okay. If somebody fucks up, you know what I'm saying? If somebody fucks up, then you're like, okay, you're a fuck up, so I gotta watch you. But if a person never fucks up, they never do nothing wrong, all they do is just try to show you that they love you, they compliment you, they treat you like the king or queen that you are, but you still want to give them pressure for no reason, like, I don't know. Stupid to me. That's dumb to me. But the person that did you wrong, did you dirty, you didn't get them no problems, you just... You ain't had no smoke for them. You just took the shit with a grain of salt. And that's not cool. That really is not cool. So, yeah, you guys. That's really all I wanted to say about that. Honestly, stop it. Stop it now. Unless you have a reason to. If a female not giving you no reason to. If a male not giving you no reason to. Some people like that, though. That's what I'm learning. Some people like the argument of situations. Some people like the drama of situations. Some people like to accuse you. But it's like, are you accusing because you're doing that? Or what? Because I never thought about that. Y'all, I'm walking against the sun, so of course it's going to be a little, you know, the lighting going to be a little crazy until I get up here to the store. But sometimes it's just, you think, it makes you think to yourself like, why are you doing this? Like, do you feel guilty about something? Or, like, are you trying to cover something up, accusing me of something? And you see what I do? Like, you have my password. I don't even have your password. Like, what? I don't know. It's that weirdo shit for me. It's that weirdo shit for me. Shitty. God came through. I'm a couple times the match. This match came with a shoulder scrub, the only thing retreat. Like a giant, he just spoke five. Told him hit him in the leg and made them niggas 
your side. These niggas don't end up there, they keep on playing both sides. These folks, honey, this makes I was just back up. Like, nobody wanna cook. What is she? What is she? <laughs> it took everything to get me out of here, no lie. Just to get some, pick some food up. I was enjoying the nice, cool air inside my apartment. Minding my business. My best friend makes this music. Yes, can I get um two the two hot and spicy meals? Two hot spicy meals, medium fried. Medium fried, but I want two large sprites, no ice. What else? A double cheeseburger, no ketchup. Okay. One one medium strawberry banana smoothie. One small strawberry banana smoothie and two apple pies. How many apple pies? Two. That's it. That's it. That's Thank you. You can't gain them a lot? You can, man. You can ask them if you want to. Yeah. Alright. I'll catch you next time. Alright. I'm gonna have to kill. Wait, I'm gonna have to kill these guys. Kill them, because I'm pissed. They cheated on me.